Welcome mama, ready to lose baby weight and break a good sweat? So this video is for you. I'm Lil Cherry, pre and postnatal specialist, and I'm so fired up for this 20 minute sweaty, fat burning, lose baby weight, total body heat workout, including core exercises to strengthen your core and flatten your tummy. Our workout for today, we will begin with a three minute warm up. Then we've got 13 no repeat exercises, 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. And we are going to wrap it up with a yummy and stretchy cool down. Have water nearby to stay hydrated. Always listen to your body and move with pace that's good for you. I share fun and sweaty workouts like this one and many others every week. So hit that subscribe and the bell so you won't miss any of them. Alrighty, it's time to burn. Let's do this. Alrighty, mama, let's begin with our warm up. Shake everything off and we will begin with stepping out with the big arm circles. Ready? Let's do this. Begin to breathe deeply in and out through your nose. We've got six moves, 30 seconds each. Switch the direction of your arm circles in two, one, Connect to your core, engage your core, and move with your breath. Alrighty, squat nice and low, step out into a side lunge. Back to squat, take it to the other side. Weight in heels, nice long spine, send the booty back. Last one. Alrighty, straddle all your legs, and we will begin to stretch her side body. Circling the arms like we're drawing a sunshine. Go deeper, look skyward. Sure you're breathing. Last one. Alrighty. Arms alongside your body, and we will step back. Bring the arms up. Again, engage your core and move with your breath. And five, four, three, two, one. Plie squat, raise your heels, lower, lift. Squat nice and low, heels up, lower, and lift. Nice and low. Remember, listen to your body and move with the pace that's good for you. All right, ice skaters. You're gonna touch your knee, or if you feel like you can go deeper, you're gonna touch your toes. Engaging your core. No need to rush. That's our last exercise and we will begin with our workout. Well done. So our workout is no equipment. However, if you want to add a little extra challenge, you can grab a light set of dumbbells or perhaps two water bottles if you want. It's optional. Okay, without any further ado, let's kill it. Alrighty, our first move, prisoner squat. 
So bring your feet wider than hip distance apart. Hands behind your head, weight in the heels. Sink nice and low, get up, side crunch. Nice and low. Engage your core. Move with the breath. I'm inviting you to bring on that smile because it makes everything easier. Last one. Shake it off, a little break. Now you can walk your mat a little bit, take a water break if you need. We don't have any official water breaks, so listen to your body and stay hydrated. Hands behind your hand. Kneeling squat, shuffle to the other side. Up. Stay nice and low. You got this. The hardest part of your workout is already done. The hardest part is to show up. So, a big V check for showing up today for yourself. Good job, mama. Now just breathe, smile, and do your best. All righty. Lunge drop to your arms. Step back. We're gonna drop the knee. Arms up and lift, drop and lift. Now here, if you want that extra challenge, you can grab dumbbells or two water bottles to add extra workout to your arms. You got this, I see you, mama. Good job. Woo, that's a good burn. Can you feel that? I bet you can. And take a break. Shake off those legs. Shake off your body. And get ready to take it to the other side. Step back to lunge. To your arms. Other leg. <laughs> yeah, make sure you do the other leg. Woo! If you need a break, just move slower. Or pause and skip one round but keep moving, keep smiling. Come on, five seconds to go. You can do this. Last one. Woo! So good. Shake it off. Find a nice straddle, heels in, toes out. Quite nice and low into a sumo. Get up, pivot, drop your knee, back to sumo. Pivot to the other side, drop your knee. Basically each move in this workout, you can add slots, light set of weights or water bottles to add a little extra. Alright, curtsy 
we're gonna keep our arms open and circle them around. It will be a real fire. Ready? So just circling the arms. We will switch the direction when we are going to be halfway through. And we're gonna switch right now. How are you doing, Mama? Are you still smiling? Are you still breathing? Remember to engage your core. Woohoo! Last one. Good job. Shake everything off. If you need a water break, pause the video. Take a sip of water and come back whenever you're ready. Alrighty, get ready for a side lunge. Arms forward. And when you're gonna come up, you're gonna draw the elbows in towards your side body. Send the booty back. Nice long spine, nice core, nice strong core. Last one. Very nice. All right. It's time to give our legs a little break and get down to your knees for kneeling push ups. Here, I want you to draw your navel in towards your lower back. Let's go. Tuck your tailbone under. No need to rush. You are strong, Mama. Yes, you are. You're way stronger than you think. So just repeat this mantra. I'm strong. Yes, I can. And keep going. You got this. Last one. Take a breather, you deserve it. Okay, tabletop, hands and knees. Or hold, hover your knees, navel in towards your lower back. Option one, you're just gonna hold and focus on engaging that core, draw the navel towards your lower back. Option two, you're gonna touch your knee. Option three, you're gonna touch your toes. Strong core engagement here. All these exercises are diastasis recti safe and not only safe, these exercises are amazing to strengthen your core after having a baby. Alrighty, side plank. Drop down to your forearm, lift your hips nice and high, lift one arm up, and you're gonna give yourself a big hug and open it up. Hug it in and open. Good job. Lift your hips even higher and really focus on squeezing your side body. And remember to breathe and smile. Woohoo! Last one. Lift it higher. Woo. Lower. Take a breath in. 
and out and get ready to flip onto the other side. Breathe, smile, yes you can, you are strong. Let's do this mama, hips nice and high, squeeze your side body, arm up. Give yourself a hug because you deserve it. Self-love, yes, that's what it is. You are practicing self-love. Love yourself first so you can love others and share the best of you with others. Hips higher. You got it. Come on, 10 seconds to go. We've got three more exercises left after this one. And that's it. Very nice. Flip onto your back safely through the side to protect your core. Find tabletop position, glue the lower back to the mat. Toe tops. Make sure there is no gap in between your lower back and the floor. No coning or doming in your tummy. And you're engaging your core by squeezing your navel in towards your lower back. I've got a beautiful playlist of deep core exercises also to heal your diastasis recta if you have. I will leave you that in the description below, so make sure to check it out. Amazing core strengthening exercises after having a baby. Move slow and mindful. Alrighty, take a break, feet down, breathe in, breathe out. Next is a dead back, same thing, you're gonna squeeze, you're gonna keep squeezing the lower back into the floor, arms up, extend one leg, opposite arm, bringing to center. Avoid any coning or doming. If it's too much, you're only gonna use your, move your legs and hold the arms in the air. Core on fire. Beautiful. Hug those knees in. Little sway side to side. Take your breath in. And out safely through the side. Come up into reverse table. Last exercise. Triceps dips. Bend your arms. Lift. Bend and lift. That's option one. One extra. You're gonna tap your knee. More extra, you're gonna tap your toe. Woohoo! So find what suits you. Come on, three, two, one. Take a seat. Shake off those arms. And now I want you to applaud to yourself because you killed it. Good job. I am dripping sweat and I really need a sip of water. Get ready for our cool down. Woo! Alrighty, we're gonna stay in a seated position. Place your feet down, figure four. One ankle on top of your knee, hands behind you. Lift your chest, scoop your glutes towards your heel. Nice, long spine. Begin to breathe into your outer glutes. Inhale. Exhale. 
One more just like that. Breathe in and out. Very nice. Scoop back. Let's extend that leg. Bring the other foot into your inner thigh. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, you're gonna bring the opposite hand to the opposite knee and then take it into a nice side body stretch. Lengthen out of your waist and just go and stretch it out. Breathe in and out. Slowly make your way up. Straddle your legs. Seated straddle, fold, fold. Begin to hinge forward. Maybe only hands gonna touch the floor. Maybe forearms. So again, find what suits you. And if, you, if you're willing to go a little bit deeper, so maybe extend the arms or whatever is accessible to you. It really doesn't matter how deep you go. What matters is the sensation. When you feel it, you're doing it right. One more breath. Slowly make your way back up and we will take it to the other side. Opposite leg. Ankle on top of your knee. Nice straight arms. Glutes closer to heel. Long spine. Soften your face, relax your shoulders and focus on your breath. Inhale, exhale, one more breath, let it out, very nice, scoop back, let's take that side stretch, sole of your foot inside your inner thigh, opposite hand, opposite knee, make sure you do the other side, reach arm to the sky and then begin to lengthen out of your waist and fold. Let the gravity to take you into the pose. Open your chest, bring the gaze skyward. Breathe in, breathe out. Slowly make your way up. Now from here, instead to take straddle, we're gonna take a butterfly pose. The soles of your feet to touch, scoop your hips away from the heels, hold onto your feet, flutter your wings, lengthen your spine, take a breath in, and as you exhale, fold forward. Maybe four arms can, down, can come down to the floor or not, again, doesn't matter. What matters is your sensation. I try to reach your forehead towards your feet. Breathe in and out. Good. Slowly make your way up. Let's make our way into tabletop. Shoulders on top of your wrists, hips on top of your knees. A few cycles of cat-cow. Drop the belly, look up. Exhale, cat, round, contract your core. Inhale, cat, arching the lower back, gaze up. Exhale, cat, gaze to navel, round. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Beautiful. Back to neutral spine, walk the hands slightly forward, tuck your toes under, let's find down dog. Lift your seating bones nice and high, laps of length through your spine, relax your head and neck, shake your head yes, shake your head no, and again yes, always ending with positive energy, shoulders away from your ears, pedal up your legs, bending one knee and the other. Very nice. Now begin to walk your hands towards your feet, ragdoll position. Soften your knees, grab the opposite elbows, and let it all sway side to side. Now let's send the arms back behind you, interlock all ten fingers at your lower back. Squeeze the shoulder blades, fold. 
breathe in and out letting go open up your feet to the outer edges of your mat heels inches out squatting down into froggy poses malasana yogi squat hands to your heart use your elbows to push the knees out lengthen out of your crown let's stretch her lower back open up our hips now close your eyes for a moment and thank yourself say thank you thank you thank you I am amazing repeat with me I am strong I am perfect just as I am breathe in and out open your eyes lift your sitting ones up to the sky fold forward soften your knees roll up to standing reach the arms up to the sky inhale gathering all the beautiful energy around you exhale hands to your heart again thank yourself thank you thank you thank you you are amazing mama good job good job for creating time to show up for yourself for doing the work so you can feel amazing in your own skin and give your best to your loved ones i would love to connect with you let me know where you're from how old is your baby are you a first time mama or maybe you have five kids already so I have two girls. I am a little over one year postpartum. I was made in Russia. Currently, I live in Austin, Texas. Uh, I love connecting with you. I love learning about you. So please drop me a comment down below. Let me know uh, how are you feeling also after this workout? Did you break a good sweat? Uh, and share with me heart emoji if you did enjoy this practice. All right, mama, check out my uh, postnatal lose baby weight playlist and keep showing up for yourself to the work so you can feel your best every single day. And I'm here for you to motivate you and encourage you and to push you forward to become the best version of yourself every single day from my heart to yours. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you soon.